Hi there, I'm Erin and welcome to my birthday book buying vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. This is my first ever vlog, so bear with me. This video will be going up on my birthday, so I thought it'd be really fun to celebrate and gift to myself Emily Henry's new book, Happy Place. We all know how much I love her. I'm so excited. And maybe there will be a signed copy in Barnes Noble. We don't know. But yeah, let's see how good I can be at actually filming myself in public. Um, and have a day um, full of books, just being in the good energy of a bookstore. So let's go. There she is, folks. There she is. So I'm just checking in and I'm gonna whisper because I'm nervous. I have four books with me, but I don't think I'm gonna be leaving with the four books. So I need to put one back. I already know which one I'm gonna put back, but still. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a rundown of the books that I have and the one that I'm gonna put back. Cool. I'm dying right now. It's good. Shit, that is fresh. Cool. Well, I got every single book that I wanted. <laughs> Who knew? Um, went in there for one, came out with three. I think that's good. Yeah, let's do a little haul, huh? So we're first gonna talk about the book that I came in there for, Happy Place. How beautiful did she look when she was on the display next to the other books? I'm sad, obviously, it's not paperback. I want a paperback, but I don't know. I think that the yellow book that's, you know, the hardback yellow book is cute with the pink lettering. I think that that's gonna be like a cute book to display, so I'm not that mad about it. It's just like when they're all together as a set, they're gonna be funky because one of them is gonna be a taller hardback, but it's not that serious, okay? That's that's this year's motto, it's not that serious. Anyways, Happy Place, her newest book. Um, I believe that this book is about a couple who have broken up, but they pretend like they aren't for like a friend's trip. And I've been seeing some videos on TikTok, not trying to, I'm not trying to like do any research about this until I read it, but I've heard that you're in your feels about this couple because it's so sad and like nostalgic and like you want them to be together knowing that they aren't. And there's like flashbacks where they're like so in love and you're kind of confused as to how they got to the point where they're broken up. But yeah, I'm so excited uh, to read this. Obviously I'm gonna finish the books that I'm currently reading 
but I might do a vlog of like me reading it. Maybe if I'm a vlogger? Am I a vlogger? We don't know. Ugh. Anyways, okay. Book one. The book that we went in there for. Okay? Okay. Okay, so moving to book two. Um, I did have this on my radar because I love TJ Klune, but um, I know this is like a recent release too um, from like this spring, but it's in the lives of puppets and I have no idea what this is about, but like all of his book covers, um, I just think they're really cool and beautiful and like just like a unique design. Um, anyways, let's see what this is about. In a strange little home built into the branches of a grove trees live three robots, fatherly inventor android Giovanni Lawson, a pleasantly sadistic nurse machine, and a small vacuum desperate for love and attention. Victor Lawson, a human, lives there too. They're a family, hidden and safe. Then one day, Vic salvages and repairs an unfamiliar android labeled HAP, and he learns of a shared dark past between HAP and Geo, a past bent hunting humans. When Hap unwittingly alerts robots from Geo's former life to their whereabouts, the family is no longer hidden and safe. Geo is captured and taken back to his old laboratory in the city of Electric Dreams, so together the rest of Vic's assembled family must journey across an unforgiving and, un and otherworldly country to rescue Geo from the decommissioning, or worse, reprogramming. Along the way to save Geo, amid conflicted feelings of betrayal and affection for Hap, Vic must decide for himself, can he accept love with strings attached? Interesting. Interesting. I'm so curious if I'll like this. I did, clearly did not read the inside before I bought it, but I trust TJ Klune. I trust him. So we'll see. But yeah, that is book number two. A hardback because your girl wanted it. Crazy. Okay, last one of this haul is one that I'm really excited about because I know that the movie's coming out this year and I just saw the uh, trailer that was released for it and I need to read this. I need to read this. Granted, I was listening to the Hunger Games audiobooks like last year and I only got through, I think midway in the second. Um, I just think this is a book that I wanna read rather than listen to. But since this is a prequel, I'm gonna feel okay reading this and then maybe reading the Hunger Games trilogy a little while later but yeah i don't know seeing the trailer for this movie just looks so good and um i had actually like never read this and i feel bad because i love the hunger games so just to give you like what i'm understanding what this is about president snow when he was 18 years old he is now to mentor the female tribute from district 12 in the 10th annual hunger games inside the arena it will be a fight to the death Outside the arena, he starts to feel doomed for his tribute and must weigh his need to follow the rules against his desire to survive no matter what it takes. So clearly he doesn't start out as evil as he is in the Hunger Games. Like as all, I don't know, villain origin stories, you're curious if you're gonna like them and like, I don't know, feel sad that they become so evil. But that is a third book in this haul um, with these two. So exciting. <gasps> So I'm finally home uh, and calming myself down a little bit more from the state of panic that I was in for vlogging myself in public for the first time. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I hope you found this video interesting and that you had some fun coming along with me to buy Happy Place by Emily Henry for my birthday. Um, I'm so excited to read her. I hope you're having a good day, night, wherever you are, and I'm sending you all the good spring, happy, healthy, positive vibes. And I'm sure we'll talk soon. Bye.